Hello, my quarantine buddies. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today, <laughs> I'm doing my makeup because I have nothing else to do. <sighs> I figure, why not do my makeup? Like, I would be having a video out every day until this quarantine is over because I seriously have nothing to do. So, I know you have nothing to do as well so grab your makeup and let's sit and try a new way of applying our makeup today i am doing um scott barnes uh jello's makeup artist um makeup techniques he did this look on tati about a year ago and i've always wanted to do it so i'm like why not <laughs> why not what else is there to do hmm? so. so please subscribe and hit the bell so you get to do nothing with me on this quarantine then give this video a thumbs up and i hope you stay to the end share it with someone you think might like it all that good stuff um i will leave the links to my social media and stuff in the description box i am a nail tech and a makeup artist although i am not working at the moment but i really wanted to do this uh he, he did this look about a year ago i'm gonna link the um the video in the description box if you guys want to check it out it's just a different way of applying makeup um, so I'm just putting my twist on it. I'm not exactly following everything he did because he used a shit ton of makeup. And like he said, his makeup is mostly for like stage and filming and has a lot to do with lighting or whatever. And I'm just trying to just do this for an everyday something. But I just want to apply, um, use his techniques. So he does not use a primer. I'm going to use Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3 in 1 Primer Water. I'm just going to spray a little bit of this all over my face. Let's try this. So he starts by like doing like work underneath the foundation. So he starts off with contouring and concealer and whatnot. So I'm going to start off with my concealer. I'm using Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpt Too Faced Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Honey. I'm going to apply some of this first because it's more of a hydrating um, concealer. Forehead as well. I have a small forehead so I'm applying a wide amount and a little on my chin here he also applies some of it here like I said I will link the video in the description box because I'm not following it to a T but I'm sort of using his concept oh lovely <laughs> now I'm gonna use elf camo 16 hour concealer the original formula because it's a bit lighter than the um the Too Faced one i'm just gonna apply a little bit of this in the inner corner of my eyes just a little bit to make it look brighter so he uses like a brush like a foundation brush to blend to sort of like tap it in i'm gonna start with it and see how i like it if i don't like it i'm gonna switch to my sponge holy crap i forgot to do the nose He does makeup for stage and um, flames and has a lot to do with lighting and whatnot. Alright, the brush is actually doing a very good job at patting this in. There, I found something I like to do. Maybe I'll be including that in my foundation routine. This actually tap that in really nice. He likes doing the chin like this because he says it brings everything forward. From what I could see when I looked at the video, I looked at it so much times. Um, he he does his the makeup first before he does eyes and whatnot, and it's something like like what I do when I'm doing my makeup. I always most like 95% of the times I am doing my foundation before I actually go in with my eye makeup. I always feel like I get a better feel of how I want my eyes to look and how I want my lips to look when I actually have my foundation on because I'm not really big on eyeshadow for everyday use so I always like to complete my base first which is what he does I'm gonna take this elf um, blending brush and I'm using my um, Colourpop stick foundation in 195 and I'm going to get it on the brush I'm not gonna apply directly on my face because he uses a lot of creams as opposed to like striping your face because um he just prefers to use creams so we are doing this so what i learned from looking at him too though is that i feel like i apply my contour a little bit too high so i'm actually gonna feel for my like jaw and i usually start to apply my contour to the tip of my ears and down so i'm just gonna go a little bit lower like halfway on my ear like right this way and apply this 
there on the other side I feel like this is gonna be better for my face because I do have a small face so this is gonna give me more room to work with other products on my face like my um blush and whatnot and I do have a small forehead so I'm not trying to like make my head look too small at the end of the day too and when it came to the jaw he kept the face straight and said to contour from underneath like don't move your face or anything just do it underneath your actual jaw like so because he said like when you do certain things to your face you're changing the shape of your jaw on your face so you wouldn't get it so i'm taking it from the back of my hair and bringing it underneath my jaw then i'm gonna take like a tiny uh, brush because he does a really small um brush for the nose and try to contour my nose like apply the line really really thin something like so <laughs> and he also says a way to make your lips look fuller is to actually contour the bottom of your lips so i'm gonna do that okay now that i look crazy i'm just sort of taking that brush and blending upwards a little bit just to soften up the lines foundation i'm going to use is the beauty blender foundation and i'm putting the tiniest bit on my hands and i'm using um, a stippling brush like really just soak that into the brush like swirl it around into the brush and start with this part of my face to like stipple and buff it in i'm kind of bringing it upwards into the contour and whatnot my chin meshing everything together how are we looking how are we looking <laughs> i'm scared <laughs> oh i am so scared oh my god now i'm gonna go like between the uh contour and my foundation and mesh this together as well not trying to remove the work that we did underneath so it's all about blending and getting the edges not too harsh so that everything looks seamless i'm trying to not mix the colors up too much so i'm just trying to use the foundation between like where the contour and the highlight meets so that i don't get everything muddy but just to blend out everything because like i said we're not trying to remove the work that we did underneath I'm liking, I'm liking. So when it comes to the lips, he just stamps it over. Like. Like so, just to blend it. And he does the same thing for the nose as well. Like this way. All right, so when it came to the contour that we have on the jaw, he did, I forget to do, like he did bring down the contour a bit on the neck, like so. My neck is like way, way, way lighter than my face. But he was saying that your face is supposed to look a tad bit lighter than your neck, so um, let's see. Then you apply the foundation and we buffing it like upwards just to remove the harshness. Upwards, upwards, stamp upwards. I'm not the biggest fan of bringing like <laughs> my foundation down my neck. I always just like to just use a powder to just mesh everything together. But it is actually not looking very bad, but I'm not a fan of it. But then again, that's what this video is about, okay? It's about a new technique. <laughs> I'm surprised it, <laughs> it doesn't look bad. It doesn't. But I'm gonna take my sponge and go over everything. Like, let me just pick up some of the excess product because there's a lot of product on my face. But I feel like I use a lot less. I don't know. Something about it makes me feel like I didn't use as much uh, product as I would normally use. I don't know. 
All right, this looks way better. I am actually very surprised at where I'm at from where I started. I did look like a hot mess. Oh my God. I really do like the way my skin is looking though. I am pleasantly surprised. I'm using my Beauty Bakery powder. I used this in my video yesterday and I'm gonna set my concealer because he sets everything. He uses powders a lot. He just uses like, like brushes. He does not use a lot of sponges in his arm. He used no sponge at all as a matter of fact. He only uses brushes. And now I'm taking my Morphe Glamour Bronzer in Trailblazer and I'm using the same brush I used the cream with because he basically used the same concept. Like he really just tamped it on the face as how he would the, um, the cream. So I'm doing the same thing. He just placed it there. The same thing for the jaw, just underneath. Now he takes translucent powder. I'm using um, Kat Von D Locky translucent powder. He takes some of that on a brush and uses it to diffuse the edges of the um, the contour powder, the bronzer powder. So that's what I'm doing. Sort of just buffing it upwards to diffuse the harshness. Okay, that worked. Interesting. <laughs> the same thing on the jaw. He just buffs it upwards sort of flicking it up on the edges so that the edges are not harsh and that everything becomes seamless. I'm using the same powder, the, the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Translucent Powder. He uses translucent powder and I'm going to do the same thing with my nose. Sort of just flick it over my nose like this way to blend the, the lines out but not to get rid of it entirely because you still want to see the contour. Nose thing is kind of neat to me. <laughs> I must say it is kind of neat to me. I don't know if I'm going to contour my nose like that, but we'll see. All right, so for my blush, I'm using Blushing in Bali by BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to mix all the blushes together. He does that. He just takes some of everything, mix them together. I'm going to apply that on my cheeks, like right underneath my eyes. Because based on my face shape, based on what he says, this is where the blush will look better on me and that is where i actually always apply it anyway like higher up underneath my eyes because like i say guys you probably don't see my face is like small like i don't have the biggest face in the world so we are applying this here and of course makeup isn't one size fit all we all have different face shapes so probably what i did here wouldn't work for your face shape because i also saw that he did um he did um, Tati's sister and what I'm doing here, he did not do on her because her face structure is like so much more defined. She don't need a lot of contouring and whatnot. So bear that in mind when you're doing your makeup. Like, like I said, it's all about the concept of it. Like take from it and you use what you feel works best for your face shape. But honestly, I'm really liking the way <laughs> my face is looking. I just do not like the nose contour, but as for everything else it looks really nice <laughs> it looks really really nice obviously i would not do this for every day definitely not definitely not all right so for um highlight too i'm taking all three shades here in the palette he likes mixing stuff and i like mixing stuff as well so that's what we're doing i'm taking this powder brush from sonia koshak and let's apply some of this to the tops of my cheek but it's not too harsh and it just looks like I'm glowing from within. Some of my chin. He also does not use any setting powders. Like, um, sorry, he also does not use, um, what's it? Setting sprays. Well, this on my nose as well, on the bridge of my nose, he does that. And I mean, it's something I do as well. I always like applying my highlight on my nose. It just makes my nose look so much straighter. And I'm gonna apply some of it on my brow bone. I am like impressed with the way my face is looking. I really am. All right, so I'm gonna do my brows. I'm just gonna use my, um, what is this? <laughs> my Maybelline Tattoo Studio. I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna be right back. All right, so I'm back. My brows are done. Um, so I'm gonna do it. Use the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Volume 2 palette. He also does not use any eyeshadow primer, so that's what I am doing. 
I mean, I have done looks without primer before as well, so we'll see. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start with the shade Positivity on the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe GH34 brush, and I'm gonna apply this in my crease. I like the way he um, applies eyeshadow. It reminds me of how I do it as well, because I'm not always into like crazy defined makeup looks. I just like things that look more effortless. Like I'm always saying, little town, such a quiet village, every day, like the one before, little town, full of little people, waking up to say, bonjour, I am actually <laughs> looking at Beauty and the Beast, guys, Beauty and the Beast. I love, love, love Beauty and the Beast. Like, as a matter of fact, I love any animation. But as for me, I think I would always be like using something to prime my eyes because my lids are darker and I just want something to just create an even a base and to make, to bring more light to my eyes so the shadows could pop more because if you know where there's darkness, that's where you want to add light. So I would definitely always be using a primer because I mean, it's looking good, but I know it would look better if I cancel out that darkness. I'm going to take the shade crazy on the same brush and pop it in my outer V and drag it a little bit into my crease it's no wonder why they're saying like makeup really isn't one size fit all and I mean there aren't rules to makeup I don't think there are rules but I mean of course there are theories and things you can follow and whatnot but I don't feel like there really aren't any rules to makeup. You just do what makes you comfortable and what you feel like looks best on you. If you feel like wearing a shit ton of powder, <laughs> then do you. If you don't want to wear powder, don't wear powder. If you feel like wearing lashes, wear lashes. If you don't want to, you don't want to. Like there's, there are really no rules. Cause you know, you, you, every makeup artist works different and we are all here for it. Like we all love to see Kim Kardashian's makeup. We love Kylie Jenner's makeup and they're all doing something different. We love Beyonce's makeup. It's always nice to just take what you could take and uh, implement it in what it is you do and see if it works best for you. And if it doesn't, you just keep it moving and do what works best for you. Cause I look at makeup artists too, who don't believe in using a lot of powders and whatnot, but that doesn't mean you using powders makes you what you're doing wrong or whatever the case might be, you know? So always bear that in mind. So I'm going to take the color Flawed, what's it? Flawed and Odd. And I'm going to apply that on my lid. Ooh, baby. I'm telling you, these colors are the bomb. A little bit higher in my crease with that. Taking that same color um, crazy and just blend the edges off a little bit so it's transitioned nicely. I'm also gonna apply crazy in my on my bottom lashes as well. I'm gonna take a, a little bit of the black in the palette named Temptress and just apply it to the outer corner of my eyes. I'm actually gonna apply a little bit of that black on my outer V as well, just to deepen up the color a tad bit just for a little more definition. Look at the difference that made. Damn, it's been a while since I've done such a smoky look. Look what I done did. But I'm loving it. I'm gonna take this iridescent color it's, um, in it. Like, this color is such a beautiful color. Of course, the lighting and stuff does not do it justice. It's such a beautiful color. It's one of my favorite color from this palette. I will link the video that I did using this palette. I did I use this palette to do my birthday look. I'm gonna link the video uh, in the description box or also in the um maybe in the comment section. That's the eye look. I I went smoky today and I'm loving it. Hmm. Okay, so he does not use any setting spray, so I won't be doing that either. Alright, so I'm gonna line my lip with BFF4 from ColourPop. Then I'm going to go over that with Ew from Colourpop and Sheila. With a little gloss from Fenty. And what he does with the gloss is he flicks it outwards. Kind of make your lips, your lip line look a little bit more perky. And to help blend everything. 
and i do notice that in jennifer's um makeup like her lips are always like so juicy and she doesn't have like crazy big lips or anything so there we have it he didn't do anything to the waterline or anything like that so i'm just gonna leave mine the way it is i feel like it looks nice the way it is as well i just applied my mascara i'm not using lashes like surprise surprise so i mean if you want lashes like i said do you lashes will make this look look better <laughs> but uh, um no matter to me so that's me following scott barnes <laughs> A jello's makeup artist techniques my face looks beat as hell i definitely will not do this for an everyday makeup this will be a special occasion makeup um technique for me and if i was to use it for everyday like use the, the, the um the technique as into contour underneath and highlight underneath i will draw back a little bit on the amount of product that i use as well i wouldn't use so much product for an everyday look my face is beat guys it's beat <laughs> but i do like the way it looks it's like snatched to the gods like I really do like it of course I didn't do everything the way he did it I just followed the theory of what he did because he used like I said he does his makeup for stage and flame and lighting and photography and whatnot and I'm not in that that scenario I'm, I'm never in this scenario except on lights except when I'm flaming like I have all the lights around me and that I guess that's why it's looking like that to me like because I have so much lights on me but in person my face is like fucking beats you know like you can see that I'm wearing makeup. You know what I mean? So like photography, AI. Probably I'm home taking pictures, I'll do that. But for every day, like I said, no way. But I do like the techniques and I do like the products that I've used here as well. Now tell me if you like the way that I applied my makeup today. I mean, it was looking crazy in the beginning. I was even scared. <laughs> so um, everything I use will be in the description box. Please check that out. I will also link the video with Tati and Scott in the um, description box as well so you can check it out. Please stay safe. Um, all the links to my social media and everything will be there as well. I am a nail tech, although I'm not working at the moment, but everything is there. So check out my page. Follow me there um, when I'm not on YouTube. I'll be there. Um, like I said, stay safe. Do what you need to do. I will be rolling those videos out for you. You can bet on that. And um, let's continue to touch the wall one face at a time. And I'll see you in my next video tomorrow.